No, it is not. Maybe. It's complicated. Today I'm going to be playing Hearts of Iron 4 while making a handstand the entire time and using only one hand to play with a controller and if I ever fall down I will cut off one of my legs. I am only kidding of course. I am doing something much worse. I will be playing Hearts of Iron 4 in an impossible manner. I will simulate the experience of someone who does not have any DLC whatsoever. Someone who just got the game off the Steam store and nothing else. With the exception that I know what every single DLC does. I am tempted to do this, to play with a controller. <laughs> it's, it's just so stupid. <laughs> the one thing that's bothering me right now is just that the cursor is rather slow, but apart from that, you know, if you get used to it, it's completely fine. Anyway, we do have a different title screen, so I guess that's a DLC. Another thing that's very obvious, some of the Nazis are censored. At first I assumed this is just because I'm playing the German version, you know, we have strict laws against nationalism the last time it happened. It didn't really leave a good taste in the mouths of everyone in Europe for some reason. But this is just a general thing. There's a free DLC that came out shortly after the game released and you'll get it if you buy the game outside of Germany. The entire cabinet, Goebbels, Hess, Himmler, <laughs> all of the Nazi officials are also hidden. Obviously Gürgen. Italy. Do we have a focus tree? Yes, we do have a focus tree. I mean, we can only go with Mussolini. You don't have a single old history path. Actually, yeah, you you do have the old ones. Pact of Steel, Italy first, which I guess, yeah. And then Japan has also... Actually, Japan does have an old history path, even though, you know, it's just the unaligned path, which is supposed to be against the Soviets. And China, I don't think... Ch yeah, China has the default focus tree. <laughs> oh god, that's cursed. The Commonwealth... Oh, yep, every single Commonwealth Dominion also has the base... Even New Zealand? Oh god. Wait, who are you? New Zealand usually has a different... A am I going insane right now? I don't think I've ever seen this guy. Yeah! Why is this a DLC? <laughs> Why does he have a different portrait in the DLC? If he didn't have a unique portrait, then I'd be like, okay, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> You're trying to tell me this is the American focus tree without any DLC. How do you people live? How can people play it? Canada has a different color. And they're Canada, not the Dominion of... Ca they're independent? Wait, what? So You're... The UK only has Malaya and the Raj's puppets. What? And South Africa also has a different leader. I remember JBM Herzog. He has grey hair. Oh, I wonder if something is different in South America. Why does the leader of Bolivia look so... He looks like he's been washed too often. And then Spain... You can be happy. You can be happy that Spain is a DLC because playing as Spain with the DLC is just... Honestly, this is probably more fun. <laughs> Because you don't lose cause on half of your nation. <laughs> and you don't have to do those stupid plans. Offensive plans. Turkey, Bulgaria and Greece don't have anything. Hugo should have... I retract my statement. But surely Hungary had. Romania doesn't. Does Czechoslovakia... I don't think Czechoslovakia... Yep. Yeah. But Poland has one. No alt history paths. But... What do you... Seriously, what do people do that play Hearts of Iron 4 without DLC? Yo, the, the Soviet one is actually pretty decent. You have your base Stalin path. I think you can do everything. That's insane. You know, apart from the continuous focuses, you do have everything as the Stalin path and you even have a Trotsky path. The Soviet focus tree gets a thumbs up, honestly. Anyway, uh, I guess it's time to start playing the game. This looks weird. I'm missing the collaboration governments and the Oh god, I w you don't have puppet interaction in this game, right? Yeah, you can't just liberate. You can't puppet people if you annex them. Oh no. Never mind, we don't have the old naval- You just can't design ships. You're not missing out on anything. But does that mean you just bump- Yeah, you just bump stats up. Either way, you're not missing out on anything if you don't have the ship DLC. God, this looks so- I don't like it. I don't like that there's this one button missing. If the naval sign was at least also to the right of it, and then the industry to the, you know, like, or the air on one side, like, I get it, they just disabled that one button. But it's, it looks so weird, because, you know, here's army, 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 naval, space, air, and then industry. The 50 factories. Wait a minute. 
No. No. <laughs> Unit voice lines are a DLC. I just love Paradox, man. I don't think anybody can come up with the shit that they are pulling. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake! Now we've gotta be quick because of the war escalation. Trains are not a DLC feature, cool. But surely railway guns are, right? Yeah. Right, we don't even have to worry because Ethiopia... They cannot do their weird exile government thing, so I don't... I shouldn't even have to speed here. I can just play normally. I mean, not normally for this... Like... Ah... Uh, I can play this like a normal war. Cost re reduction for Grand Battle Plan Doctrine? Huh, so army spirits are a DLC feature. <laughs> the Soviets should be much weaker in this game without a picture of Karl Marx giving them 500 weekly manpower. I'm gonna go for superior firepower. Does that change? Nope. So that part of the focus just doesn't do anything for me. I thought maybe it would switch to the current battle plan you have. Take the capital please, that should do the trick. Yes, we can annex them. You can puppet, change government, liberate, but you can't do the resource right things. Do we still have the cool tank division? Yes, we still have the tank division. <laughs> Four horses, a tank and motorized infantry. Two motorized. That is our tank division. All oh, right, I have the I I have the weird Mussolini quests. Ethiopian states have greater compliance than 60. Do we have a workhorse? Yes, we do have Adel Cinsarena. Mm. Yeah, we're also going to go down this first. I feel funky today. Spanish Civil War pops either way. But they shouldn't have any focuses and they also... There's not the weird debuff thing. Okay, those 14 divisions. Uh, I don't really care about you. Because you're just useless militia divisions. I will send you three volunteers. Surely I can do this. <laughs> yes. They're not allowed to use any equipment. I can't destroy them. But I can just tell them, yo, equipment. You are not getting any equipment. Let's be sneaky. Let's join the Germans. And then we can start a naval invasion into Leuwarden. Let's send our few divisions somewhere where they can do a little bit of damage and then hopefully just get encircled. I mean, sadly, uh, no, we, we don't want them to get encircled. We, uh, I just um, giving them a special order. And it just so happens that, you know, I forget about them. Oh no, look at that. They're splitting up. Come on. I'm I'm trying to get encircled. Okay, come on, just just walk in there. This one division is encircled. Okay, I'm gonna make it even easier for them. No, <laughs> I just I just encircled this. I wanted to get encircled, not encircle half of the Republican army. Yep, I feared that was gonna be the thing. You still have the old designer, by which I mean you don't have any designer for the Air Force. I'm missing a few icons. I'm also missing a few icons here, of course. Again, we don't know what we can do with an alt history. Italy. <laughs> Invite uh, South America to affection. I was confused why my manpower dropped so hard. But yeah, I just decided to create a few divisions. They were encircled. Let's fall back. Let's fall back, please. We can guarantee Austrian independence even though we are in a faction with Germany. Wait. I guaranteed Austrian independence, but I'm in a faction with Germany, so I can't join against Austria. Oh, again, I mean, I can join against... Aus Actually, I can join against Austria and take Austria myself. <laughs> That's even better. You're just learning new things with me every single day. No! I'm in a war now. My, my volunteers were recalled. Nope, I will not take this. Come on. Yes. Oh, we lost our useless divisions. Yeah, let's demand Dalmatia first. You are officially an idiot. Like, the, this is pretty much just the same as they did with Czechoslovakia. Give me a little bit of your stuff. And then also give me the Montenegrin throne. Perfetto. Now you're so weak, you can't defend yourself against me. Tungsten from my friend in the Soviet Unions. Comes a puppet of Italy. Yes. My empire. Yeah, I don't think I can stage a coup. He's shooting anyone who is not is not a communist. So I guess it makes sense that you can't really boost communism, uh, fascism in the Soviets. Well, he also shoots communists, but uh, 
you get the point. Wow, the Spanish Civil War just ended. And the Nationalists lost. I encircled half of the Republican army. And you still lost. Whoa! I can't join against Poland. I do have my own war goals. Right, let's build a beautiful airplane. The next part is not relevant. I just thought it was cute that you could hear Melon in the background sneezing. We need to... I guess I will start building an air force with the rest. No! Why do you have 21 divisions? But I can't annex you. You... Yeah, you can't... Oh, hi, honey. You can't increase or decrease their autonomy, but you can't even annex them. So, the, getting the East Indies was kind of useless. The only reason why I did it was so I could get rubber for cheap, but that doesn't even work. Puppet mechanics, they should, they should be part of the base game. That's not fair. Okay, I guess I will join the Germans. I'll attack, please. Fall of Brabant? No. Oh, right, because I... Because I own the Netherlands, I was like, Brabant? What, what kind of Italian state is that? That That's Burgundy. Wait, wait a minute. That's not here. Oh, I love this. You just... Why? You didn't even do anything. You just stopped. Please, you could have taken the sewers by now. Free France is gone. And Vichy France is a different color as well. Are they... Yeah, they are puppeted. That's one thing I still remember. Why did they not get it high? This might either be because I'm in Syria right now and I messed Vichy France up that way, or Hatay was added in the Battle for the Bosporus DLC and Paradox never bothered fixing what Vichy gets if you don't have any of the DLCs. Not sure which I find more likely, honestly. You know what, let's fix this whole Spain thing. And then let's also prepare a naval invasion. Uh, Germany almost supports us. You, move up here. Move to Norway. And then attack from Bergen. To here. <laughs> we are going to attack through Africa into ourselves. If there was one World War II army that would do this, it would be the Italian one. Why did you not declare war in Luxembourg? Yeah, let's end the League of Nations. I suppose it's about time. You can coup your own puppet. Sure. Let me coup Yugoslavia. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. Vichy invaded here, navally, and they gave me the land because I have claims here. And then they promptly died. <laughs> Why is there a quotation mark? Ugh, oh, paradox. Wow, finally, you declared war on Luxembourg. It's only 24 divisions that are capitulating Britain right now. I suppose that's enough in Hearts of Iron. And I only have 26% war participation. Not fair. Wait, you can't even take ships. You can't take the navies. I can finally do this. Because the US is now at war. Where did Guan Xi go? Guangxi is not DLC, right? What happened to Guangxi? <laughs> and Vichy just has the normal French focus tree. <laughs> Why did you declare war on Hungary? What for? Why do you own southern Slovak? Did they give it up in a focus? No, Hungary can't demand it. I'm confused. The UK is still alive. Whoops, I accidentally annexed UK. Ah, I just hate it when this happens, you know. You know what? I will join in Barbarossa. Oh god, I can't... I can't collaboration governments. <laughs> Mussolini, I'm already expanding the Air Force. Just look at Italy. I know I did that, but I... Wait, why is Texas not part of the fascists? When I did that, I uh, didn't think it would backfire on me. That's gonna be a problem in the future. Oh god. <laughs> the cast without air designer is pathetic. 16 ground attack with fighter 2s on max attack. Why even bother? Yes, fall of Leningrad. That means we get a lot of occupation points. See, we got a whole 3%. Uh... Okay, now I can't coup them because we're in the same faction, but I could coup them before. And we were in the same faction. It didn't make any sense anyway, but I'm still confused. How do I have the weird French island? No, that's part of Vichy France, right? I do not have the cursed French island. We do have oil, a bunch of it. But we also have 40,000 used by planes right now. Oh yes. It only cost me 50 PP, so let's just... There's no cost associated to it apart from the 50 PP. And then they get some weird bonuses. Category of the state changes. Yeah, sure. Whatever that means. How's the Soviet Air Force looking? Oh, oh what is this? Is that seriously the base intelligence view? That's disgusting! I mean, you do see pretty much most of the things you 
want to see, but that's disgusting. Assuming it's only a 500 planes. Honestly, I think that's the worst part about this system. It's so expensive to design airplanes. I think I have one doctrine, just because it's so expensive to design planes in the old system. This is insane. Mussolini is really giving us a lot of air XP. Oh, that's already it? Just give me these two provinces, seriously. Everything else you can take. Maybe not everything, you know? One thing I also just realized while rewatching this, they released this weird Russia that I gave them back through the state transfer tool. Oh, fuck off again. And they also, oh, just, <laughs> and they also released Russia in Tanatuba. Uh, hold up, a conflict? Okay, wait a minute. Fearing being caught between a further conflict between East and West nationalists. Okay, I guess, I guess America is technically the West. So sure, that's why they left. 82 force, are you serious? Okay, that's absolutely trash. Nope. <laughs> I will definitely reload. My entire army is encircled. They just got all the 66, man. <laughs> that is some nice damage. Even without a good air designer. After this, I attempted to attack the Germans. <laughs> but it was a huge mistake. I can technically also attack from Russia, <laughs> from Siberia. But I'm not. That bored. I'm producing 25 cas a day and 20 fighters a day. Despite me having quite a deficit in aluminum. How many planes do the Germans have? Okay. I will be here for a little while. Why did you do this? The AI just keeps on doing AI things. Goodbye, Germany. Hello, Turkey. I lost all of my... Yeah, fun fact. You lose all of your puppet's forces if you leave a faction. Lost cause. Weekly balance of power change. That's cringe. What? Yeah, I haven't really played Italy post BBA. Uh, this is gonna be painful for the next few everything. <laughs> 15k fighters in stockpile. So you wanna grind me down? Then let's grind. Whoa, they just bombed Rome. What? That's not cool, bro. 25,000. God, my fighter stockpile is dropping so quickly. Sure, let's just become a communist. Uh, we're... We're not really communist. To answer the question of the video in full. Do I think Hearts of Iron 4 is worth playing without DLC? Honestly? Yeah. There's a few things missing, like focus trees, which can be incredibly fun, don't get me wrong. Playing Poland and having to defend against the Axis and the Soviets is incredibly fun. RPing as the Kaiser is cool and all of the miners are also so much more playable when you can annex and core some of your neighbors. But when it comes to the base experience of Hearts of Iron, especially when you haven't played with DLC already, this is perfectly fine. The combat, the build-up and even most of the countries have a very solid base you can work with. There's some mechanics missing that I wish were part of the basic experience, like agencies, the designers, and the only thing that should be a part of the base game is the puppet mechanics. That is just crap that puppets are pretty much useless without DLC. It's part of the old Paradox DLC strategy, which I'm glad they've steered mostly away from, of locking basic functionality behind DLCs. In EU4, for example, you have to manually move troops onto ships and then use the ships to land somewhere. It's not unusable, but with like 3 of the 20 DLCs you can do this automatically if you click on a tile that the troops can't reach by land. So all in all, Hoi is very close to a perfect... So all in all, Hoi is very close to a perfect DLC model in my opinion. Visuals are completely fine. I mean, that, that can just be DLC for all I care. Skins? Sure. Audio, additional tracks, the radio things that I've always turned off, and for some weird reason, unit voice lines, not too huge of a deal in my opinion, like, sure, make that a DLC, additional unit voice lines. And then additional content, alt history focuses, and additional focus trees for minor nations, not a huge deal. Like, they're fun, but 
you can also just pay for them if you feel like it. My only pain points are, as I already said, the puppet mechanics, which is unbelievable. Paradox should make it part of the base game, and I could recommend you to get together for victory or death or dishonor, but then I would support Paradox's model of locking basic game mechanics behind money, and I really don't want to do that. Unit designers and agencies are a shame, but I feel they are less integral. They are nice to have, in a perfect world they should be a part of the vanilla, but hey, I'm just a single boy in a world full of 8,027,370,000 and insert me saying very many numbers quickly to assimilate to a live world count going up people. 